Emmy, before we start, mate, in a year and a half where a lot of people would have been struggling, they'd have lost jobs, they'd have lost money, businesses, it would have been hard. Some of them might not have seen people, spoken to people, been ill, lost loved ones. Today, you boys out there have probably given so many people that have loved this football club the best day of their life still amongst that. And not only that, you've got that medal around your neck as a goal scorer. Put into words what today means to you. Yeah, I don't think I have really been thinking about that in that way, but it's, it's exactly that. Uh, if we can bring joy to, to those people who have been in down periods uh, of their life, and uh, uh, that's yeah, really everything. And uh, yeah, to, to all the fans that have uh, not been able to, to be here, uh, it's, it's all for you. Uh, and all the fans coming back uh, for the playoffs. Uh, to see them and uh, and uh, feel them uh, in the stadium uh, have really helped us, and that's not just something I say. It's, it's really uh, real. Uh, we couldn't have uh, been in the final, and we couldn't have won this game without them, 100%. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it's exactly what you say. It's uh, it's uh, unreal, and uh, if if we have could give uh, something to them, it, it's it's this win. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Well, I can see you getting a bit emotional there, but seriously, from like, bottom, like as a fan, I spent 30 years, everyone always says, who's your Premier League club? I say, I ain't got one, but I have now, and it's Brentford. So, you're someone that clearly loves the big games. How much did you love that out there on the grass today? Yeah, it was, it was uh, amazing to be there. And, uh, yeah, to, to just uh, enjoy nothing too much about it is a, is a final. I know it's, it's easy to say, but but just to have focus on every uh, every situation, every tackle, every uh, touch on the ball, um, that's uh, that's the key, I think. And uh, yeah, to to just live in the moment and uh, and to be cool, uh, be smart, um, and get the fans going, get the crowd going, get the you know just really get all all the the, uh, the whole stadium with you, the whole uh, situation, um, just. Uh, yeah, because after after the game, I don't want to sit down and, and uh, think about how could have could have done uh, something else. So uh, yeah, that's that's really what uh, what uh, what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Mate, we spoke recently when you did a free kick masterclass. And you said I want to score one at Wembley. It weren't a free kick, uh, but you'll take that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I will still <laughs> still take that. Uh, win two 0 and miss miss a free kick, but uh, yeah, really. When we got that, I was very confident I'm gonna score on that. Um, it's still, also as I said, uh, you have to be 100 con concentrated uh, and not think too much about this situation. And that was maybe what I what I liked a bit there. When the free kick don't matter, mate. I don't care about the free kick. What I want to talk about is the goal. That's the important thing because that gave us that cushion. But what's going through your head? Because it happens so quickly. Obviously, we've broken. Mads has made this lung gusty, like a huge run, and then out of nowhere, I see you pop into the scene. And then you've got to keep your composure because you've just run a long way, mate. How do you keep that composure, that concentration at that moment in front of the Swansea fans as well? Yeah, it was a brilliant uh, counter-attack. Uh, and, and I think uh, both Brian and Masto stayed calm in the situation and they were cool. Uh, I was not even sprinting in the beginning because I thought they maybe will uh, just finish it off quickly. Uh, but then I got up there and uh, I saw a, a big opportunity to, to go into the box. And uh, when the ball came to me, I was... I had a, a quite a long time to, to think about where I should put it, but I was just thinking about getting a good contact uh, on the ball and not, uh, yeah, just smash it, but uh, just uh, yeah, pass it into the net. And when it crossed the line, I was uh, yeah, I was so happy. I didn't know what to do, uh, but I stayed quite calm. I think uh, <laughs> in my celebration, uh, yeah, it was an amazing feeling to score here at Wembley. Uh, yeah, coming from a small club uh, in Denmark and. Uh, yeah, it's amazing to come here and score. I can't believe it. And you, you did it. A lot of people know know this, but you've been in a lot of pain this week, and it was yeah. a bit almost touch and go if you would have made today, right? Yeah, I was. When I went out of training Thursday, I didn't. I thought I was not playing today. Um, I lost two teeth and I had a calf strain as well. <laughs> so I was like, uh, it might be my the end of the season for me. And um, I went straight from out of training to the dentist uh, and thank you to, to Midi who, have, uh, who is our dentist in the club. Uh, brilliant job. I came straight in, he, he cancelled uh, 
some of his uh, uh, appointment with some other guys and uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy to to have my two teeth again uh, or two fake ones now and um, thanks to Marcus as well to, to push them out uh, of my mouth uh, giving me an elbow what ha so what happened yeah it was at 50 50 duel in the middle of the pitch and I got an elbow and I could just feel straight away there was uh, my teeth was gone and uh, yeah, I thought also I had a big lip. I still have a, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I have like a big lip here and uh, it's still swollen a bit. So I took a lot of pills today, uh, mostly also for my calf. Uh, just had to get over this game, uh, last game of the season. And I think the adrenaline helped me as well uh, with the pain and the fans and everything. So, uh, Mate. yeah. These are the lucky teeth now, <laughs> and these are the ones that give me on the photos yeah. when they're looking they're good. They're only temporary, so I need to uh, I need to change them again. Well, you got to keep them now, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know because he said this one it, it might fall out, and he said that it might fall out in, in the game today. But uh, uh, I actually got a knock in, after 10 minutes, and I was like, oh, <laughs> but uh, thinking about the pictures with me with one two, <laughs> I need to uh, just uh, keep well, it here. Mate, that's gonna go down in Brentford folklore. <laughs> those teeth. And the team, yeah, the yeah. Ghost Ride. Mate, enjoy it and uh, thank you again. Yeah, thank you.